hey everybody, it's your boy Dude John here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you like the content, please hit that sub button. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell to let you know when I post another video for you guys. Hit that like button. And if you want to, drop a comment and say hi. I also live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on trouble.live slash Dude John, 9 p.m. Central Time. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making making them. Let's get into this video, shall we? Hi! It's, it's 10 YouTubers who mysteriously disappeared. Put together by chills. Chills, my man. I, this isn't a scary one. I know that. But... Probably a little more interesting than a video I just watched, which was the five scary bait settings. Um, I don't know if this one would come before that or whatnot, but let's get into this. YouTube is not going to disappear anytime soon, I but sure sometimes hope not. its most popular uploaders do. Most of them eventually return, but some of them mysteriously disappear only to never come back. Number 10. In 2014, Paranormal Lana created her channel, and it soon became one of the fastest growing channels in the scary community. Her okay. channel had reached over 50,000 subscribers, until on a September day in 2015, her channel vanished without a trace or reason. Since then, theories have abounded online about what caused her disappearance. Though some think she just became bored with the platform, a more disturbing theory has picked up interest. Shortly before her disappearance, she posted the following on social media. Had a pretty scary stalking incident, so unfortunately I'm having to change the way I run my social media. No more Facebook. Since then, many have wondered if this stalker had a part in her disappearance. It's certainly plausible, not. but I since there has been no update since 2015, we will never know for sure. Number 9. Uh. For the past 10 months, a YouTuber named Bill Smith has been posting videos which claim to uncover large secrets that the government does not want you to know. He is part of the QAnon movement, a 4chan board dedicated to deeply researching conspiracies. After posting video after video multiple times each month, Bill Smith simply stops uploading more. in August. He gave no indication Good. that he wanted to quit researching. If anything, his latest videos state just the opposite. There is no such thing as appeasement, okay? I will not live in slavery. I will give up my life before that ever happens. You understand that? I will fight with everything I have. Everything I have. I'm all in here. I am all... Many people have taken notice of Bill Smith's disappearance, and they are beginning to question his safety. On one hand, some of his comments could be taken as thinly veiled threats, so maybe he is being investigated by Homeland Security or the FBI. On the other hand, if there is any truth to his videos at all, then maybe he has already been kidnapped for divulging top secret information. Even if he starts uploading again, I'm sure many people will think it is a government decoy and that the real Bill Smith is gone forever. Watch some of his videos for yourself and let no me know thanks. what you make of all this. I don't follow anybody who's a QAnon idiot. Sorry. Sorry if you are, but I just... I don't believe in that crap. There, I'm not going to get into it. Number 8. FPS Russia is a YouTuber whose videos were so extreme, they attracted the attention of the federal government not once but twice. Oh, Agents raided his Georgia property in 2013 and again in 2017, each time apparently worried about his giant stockpiled arsenal. The first time they found nothing wrong with his paperwork meaning he legally owns all of the arms in the video shown. The second time, however, they raid his house after learning that he allegedly ordered a large amount of substances in the mail. They charged him with possession with intent to sell after finding more than 30 grams of something he shouldn't have had. Since then, FPS Russia's YouTube channel has gone quiet, and absolutely no updates have been added. Well, yeah, I can only imagine jail. that his arms were confiscated, which means that making new videos wouldn't be possible even if he wanted to. He could be in custody for all we know. 
Details are scarce and no one is sure exactly how much time he could be facing if found guilty or where he even is now. All I know is that there have been no updates since April of 2016. Number 7. A YouTuber named Kosh decides to do a social experiment and okay. fake his own disappearance for seven days oh, just boy. to see what happens. To do this, he cuts off all contact from the outside world, aside from a friend who is reporting back everyone's reaction. No one messages him for a while, but after about four days, his friends and family start sending him curious messages with a tinge of worry. Seven days pass and he learns that one of his friends has called the cops, so he decides to pay his parents a visit before the cops find him first. Here's his mother's worried response. <laughs> it looks like she has been missing sleep and I can't help but feel bad for her. Look at her face and tell me if you think Kosh is taking it too far. Either way, you can tell by the mixture of worry and relief in her voice that this social experiment is absolutely real. Where's the light? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do that again. Why were you worried? Well, this is certainly an interesting and suspenseful we'll never video. never do that. I'm not sure what Kosh expected to gain from this experiment besides attention. After all, I think most people already know how their friends and family would react right. if they suddenly went missing, but maybe I'm missing the point. Number 6. Stupid. Shima Luen was once an illustrator who worked for the YouTube channel Danger Dolin. Her okay. last video, which was uploaded over two years ago, has since left fans curious, worried, and upset at her unannounced disappearance. That's because the very last video ever made on her channel was celebrating the 50,000 subscriber mark, and it contained nothing but optimistic remarks about the future like this one, for example. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions, and a lot of stuff that I can answer in the FAQ videos, which I know I'm behind on, but that's okay. So it's obvious that, as of this final upload, Shima was still encouraging fans to interact with her and appears to have every intention of continuing the channel. I personally have never seen a YouTube channel celebrate a milestone victory and then suddenly stop altogether, so right. I definitely find this turn of events to be odd. With that said, Danger Dolan's channel has since claimed to have contacted Shima and claims that she's safe, but not all of her fans agree. Theories about an argument and potential foul play are circulating the internet, oh though boy. I find all of them hard to believe since Shima is in the United States and Danger Dolan is all the way in Australia. The scenarios are mostly just speculation without much evidence in my opinion, but I'd like to get yours. Number 5. Okay. Kevin Wu ran a comedy channel called Kev Jumba, and it was actually the third most popular YouTube channel on the entire platform in 2008. This allowed him to eventually start to transition from YouTube to Hollywood, where Never he starred in a movie called Revenge of the Green Dragons. Never heard Fame, of that. however, was not the only reason he suddenly stopped uploading years ago. In 2015, Kevin was struck by a car, breaking oh his back and collapsing both lungs. Oh my god. Uh, was knocked unconscious and was in the hospital for 45 days that summer. I can't he imagine. He survived only with the help of his father assisting him every step of the way during recovery. As of 2017, Kevin has briefly returned to YouTube with a renewed passion. There have been only a handful of uploads since then, but if you are a longtime fan and have been wondering what happened, then I encourage you to check them out. Number 4. I just wanted to give an update on one of the oldest and most famous missing YouTuber cases there is. Red Keymon was one of the most popular YouTube channels for GTA 5 stunts, Never heard of but at the height of his popularity, he mysteriously disappeared. His most successful video has over 105 million views, and his latest one made in 2015 has been watched well over 20 million times. Jesus. Contrary to internet rumors which suggest he hasn't returned, Red Keymon actually surfaced a little over a year ago to tell his subscribers that he was okay. He didn't have a dramatic reason aside from losing interest in the game and not checking comments for a long time, though that didn't stop thousands of people from panicking in the meantime. Well, not the most exciting conclusion. I just couldn't make a list about missing YouTubers without including this classic example. It just goes to show that every once in a while, the least scary explanation is also the best possible answer. Right. Number 3. 
Yota Slayer was a gamer who made a lot of popular YouTube videos okay. about Borderlands and other titles. Then, during the height of his success, he suddenly stopped uploading. Rumors of his disappearance began to circulate wildly before the truth was revealed. Fans were saddened to learn that the 30-year-old YouTuber had passed away after oh, an accident my involving God. their car and a train. Brian Rickard and Ryan Cook, both of Terre Haute, and Ashley Pugh of Illinois, were pronounced dead on the scene. Oh my God. After, their tru I, after the truck sucks. they were in tried to outrun a train on Rio what? Grande Avenue near Gallagher Road. I, well, like I'm... so many of his fans, were personally saddened by... Why in the fuck would you try to outrun a train? Why would anybody be that stupid? I mean, it, it, it sucks that he's dead. There's no way to go out. And I feel so sorry for his friends and family and his subscribers. Was he drunk or something? I mean, I can't imagine being silver and wanting to out one on train. I just can't. By this loss, his family has since left his YouTube channel exactly like it's always been, as a way to preserve his memory. Number 2. Not too long ago, a Belgian YouTuber named Lionmaker ran a kid-friendly Minecraft channel with over half a million subscribers. Hey guys, Lionmaker here from Lionmaker Studios, and before we jump straight into this hide and seek- Then he disappeared. In 2015, a series of messages appeared on Lionmaker's Twitter account, admitting that he had a relationship with a girl when she was 15 years old. He even posted pictures of her as well. Those tweets were later deleted and Lionmaker claimed that he had been hacked. The next year, his YouTube account was wiped and he found himself under investigation by the Belgian authorities for producing inappropriate materials with girls under 18 and another similar charge. The last article I was able to find, dated February of 2018, said he was still being actively investigated. In the meantime, Lionmaker made a second channel. As of the making of this video, it has not been updated in over four months. If anyone knows what has happened to him in the time since then, please let me know. I have a feeling he might be facing serious legal consequences. Most likely. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a new song called Dreamland. We already Please reacted to it. Sorry, you think really? My music is improving awesome. or not. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner. Corner, then tap my new song to give it a listen. It's oh, a proven fact really that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number one. High on Life is a YouTube channel that focuses on unique outdoor adventures from all around the world. Many okay. different people help with the channel. And over the summer of 2018, seven of them were making a video in Shannon Falls, Canada, when something terrible happened. They are hiking near a fast-moving pool system that is off-limits to the public because it eventually opens up into a giant waterfall. Oh Megan boy. Scraper slips and falls in. Then Riker oh Gamble and Alexi Lyok get swept away trying to save her. All oh three fall 98 feet to the depths below. Oh my god. They were... Three of the warmest, kindest, most driven, and outgoing people that you could ever meet. I'm not sure how long it took for the rest of the group to realize three of them had mysteriously disappeared. All I know is that it takes rescue workers a long time to locate and airlift them out by one. By then, it was sadly far too late for anything to be done to save oh them. Oh my god. I wanted to stress that I wish Megan, Riker, and Alexi no disrespect. And my deepest condolences go out to all of their families and friends. High on Life has bravely decided to continue as a channel, and I wish them the best of luck. A link to their memorial GoFundMe can be found in the description. I just want oh everyone to stay safe out there. Every Why?
if you're not supposed to be by something because it's dangerous and you can get killed by doing so, why in the fuck would you take that risk? Maybe it's just because I'm not a risk taker, but to me, it's just completely stupid. But it's just me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, you are loved.